We're starting off the new working week with Tom Petrovsky. How are we starting it, Tom? Indeed, a new financial year, Pete. So, yeah, well, that's um, true. Happy good new observation. Year to you. Yeah, same to you. Yes, indeed. <laughs> good, I, so, I wish um, you good look, fortune, getting... Tom Petrovsky. And um, that's a heartfelt wish that I um, take very seriously, Pete. Thank <laughs> you. So, um, in terms of what we can expect today, uh, the market's going to get off to a decent start. The futures are telling us that we'll be up by a little under a half of 1%. But importantly, Pete, the markets have threaded a very important needle when it comes to a, a risk event at the end of last week. The uh, preferred measure of inflation that the US Central Bank looked at looks at uh, was released on Friday. It's tied to what US uh, workers earn and spent. Uh, it's uh, called the PCE deflator. Uh, that measure came in uh, line with the market's expectations. Uh, an annualised pace of 4.6%, uh, a monthly uh, improvement of 0.3 of a percent. And that is part of the reason US stocks advanced to the extent that they did on Friday, particularly technology stocks. So the NASDAQ was up by 1.5%. And all of your leading technology names uh, moved higher. And uh, indeed, Apple uh, surmounted that $3 trillion valuation uh, for the first time ever. Uh, it's uh, been the most valuable organisation on the planet uh, for a while, but uh, to get past that level under these circumstances is quite telling. So today is an important day um, to see whether or not we can build on that. Uh, we've got interest rate decisions this week marking uh, the outcome tomorrow where the RBA is concerned and then the US Federal Reserve later on in the week. In both cases, Pete, they're expected to leave rates on hold. So that represents a risk. Uh, if, uh, if, for example, they don't, that's not what the markets are expecting. We could see some volatility. Uh, elsewhere, uh, we've got the Aussie dollar a little bit firmer at 66.7 US cents, partly because of that uh, inflation reading in the US that came in uh, just shy of what the market was expecting. Okay. Tom, thank you.